Hello and welcome. Today I will be working with molding paste on canvas. First of all, I will be talking about the canvas. This is a 12 into 12 canvas. I have taken the liberty to apply the hook uh, in advance so that when the sculpting material is applied and it has completely dried off my piece, uh, it does not crack up when it's being screwed from the backside or in any way because this is not the one with another wooden rod in between and so it's completely flexible. What I usually do on my canvases is apply a layer of gesso and dry it out overnight. Um, I will tell you about the sculpting media and it already has, has gesso which is why I will not have to protect this canvas. Uh, so let's talk about the molding material that I will be using. I have purchased the little birdie mixed media paste two in one gesso and modeling paste so basically i can dive in directly with my sculpting material i think what i'm going to be doing is showing you what it looks like inside this is a number two medium take a better look at it yeah so it's not too grainy and it's also not too smooth sort of works well for my idea and yeah the instructions here very very important that we pay attention to the instructions it says great for preparing various surfaces like canvas paper wood metal chipboard cl glass plastic etc works great with stencils uh, great for creating smooth as well as highly textured patterns and opaque non-toxic and acid free okay that's great actually i have purchased this one a montmartre satin acrylic premium it's in the shade lamp black and uh, yeah so this will give me the semi matte finish that i'm looking for and it's in black so first things first let's prepare my table and we will need newspaper so first of all let's pick media I think I will go ahead with one of my longer ones. This is a size 4 color mixing knife and yeah, I'll use this. And yeah, you saw, oh wow, do you see that? It is pretty smooth. Pretty, pretty smooth. You do not have a very big window to sculpt your canvas, so be very sure about the kind of pattern that you want to create. This particular pattern that I have decided to create, I think I will go for something that looks a little bit like waves. And the sides are very important, you have to keep that in mind. Why do I feel like this is not the right knife? I won't be using it. Nope, sir. It is a size 2. Yep, it's better. You do have about a window of 10 minutes to give it the kind of shape and pattern that you wish to. Do you wish to take a closer look? Yeah, take a closer look. Count this for way too long. I have been blacking out uh, most of the board, but now I will be creating the textures. So I'm going to apply a thick layer of the paste. So here's my canvas all dried up. I think we can easily give it around two hours more, uh, but I've let it stay for three hours. 
uh, actually it does look pretty solid and it also looks very flexible which is a good news um, so yeah let's get on to the painting section I will be using the Montmartre satin acrylic uh, it's in the shade lamb black the reason why I didn't mix it up is because I didn't want the saturation or the intensity of the black to reduce in any way so yeah I will be just applying it as a top coat uh, to give color to this so the brush that I'm going to use is a size 3 flat big brush I am going to mix color on this utensil that I have and yeah let's get on to it I'm going to pour out some of this black oh my goodness look at that absolute I love this give it a rub like this it is still very wet okay it is still very wet so I'm going to just use the water that's already there okay the white drop water and that's what I'm going to Trying this for way too long. Trying to solve it all. Do ensure that you cover up all the little tiny parts that are protruding inside. And it kind of dries up pretty fast, by the way, so you have to be very careful about that factor at least. I can bring the matte finish that I've wanted on this particular piece. So here's our first complete look at the finished product. It's a little glossier than I had expected but I still like it because it's it has waves. This has been a fun project and I'd really like to know if you want me to make more videos uh, that are therapeutic and very satisfying and also a uh, little full of information. This has been fun. Bye!